It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I've got a bit of a interesting beer to show you today. It's from Malta. It's Maltese Skull Lager Beer. Serve chilled a lager for the highest of the highest quality. It's in a 500, I think, 500 milliliter can, 4% ABV. Uh, this was sent to me by Neil Long. Neil Long loves to holiday in Malta. And it's got on the side here, brewed and canned by Simmons Farsons Sisk PLC, Farsons Brewery, Medina Road, Merhel Malta. There you go. So a bit of a fun review then. A bit of kind of, I mean, I've had Skull. I've had Sol, Skull Super. Yeah, it's it's a bit of it's a bit of fun. Let's see what Maltese skull tastes like. I'm gonna use my Hofmeister glass. Look at that. Here we are, nice big kind of Czech head on my beer. If you go to the Czech Republic, order a beer. Um, I was with Redeem from uh, Budweiser Budvar on the weekend at Brew London. And he'd always serve me a beer from his bar. Like, oh, let me have a pint of Budvar. And he'd pour me this great big beer with this great big head on it. And it's very important for Europeans to have a great big head on their beer because it protects the beer. That's the, that's the reason for the, for the head on the beer. But beer in the glass, we've actually got a little bit of kind of sediment like fine 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 sediment floating around this beer good levels of carbonation we've got a three finger white head so quite you know it's more or less clear there is bits of sediment floating around but yeah more or less clear looking beer very light straw colored good carbonation let's get the aroma it's exactly how i would imagine drinking and smelling a pint of skull would be from malta just ultimately kind of first beer of the day massively refreshing light crispy light wafer like malts coming through let's dive in Cheers, everybody. It's not bad, actually. It's ultimately a beer to refresh your senses, to refresh your body, to refresh your mind. When you're in a hot country like Malta on holiday, you want something really crispy like this. And it just, it, it delivers. If I try and stick my mind in Malta, I went when I was a teenager to Malta, went to Popeye Island. It was, it was boiling, Boy, just standing there enjoying a beer then, just just having a little moment to myself, you know, all sipping away. Um, yeah, it was boiling hot, boiling hot, and yeah, I'd, I'd like to go back, I'd like to go back, but I've been to many other, I've been to Portugal and Spain and lots of other really hot countries. And sometimes all you want, all you need is something like this, it's very crisp, there's light malt flavours coming through. There's not really a lot to talk about, if I'm perfectly honest with you. There's no complex hops really coming through, there's no complexity of of, of different, 
different kind of five or six different malts used in the beer. It's just a very simple throwback lager at 4% ABV. There's a little bit of bitterness on the back end. There's a little bit of kind of pepperiness and spiciness. There's a lot of carbonation. As you're drinking the beer, you can feel it kind of hissing and fizzing on the palate there. The malt. The malt is... It's either kind of... I don't think it's corn, if I'm perfectly honest with you. I don't think it's rice. I don't think it's corn. It does taste like a 100% malt lager. Fair play to Skull for producing that. Because it's very easy for some of these mainstream brewers to use maize and rice. And I quite like these days an all malt lager. I don't think I've ever had one as low as 4% ABV, but it still strikes a balance. It strikes a balance between that kind of sweetness over there from the light wafer-like malts to the slight peppery bitterness over here from the hops. And it's, it's a nice balanced beer. It is. It's a funny one. You're in a different mindset when you're away. I am anyway. I like to have a day around the pool or a day around the beach. Swim around, play with the kids, have fun. And then about four or five o'clock, I like to go back to the hotel room, pop to the shops first, buy, or maybe actually pop to the shops at lunchtime. Pick up your cold beers, pick up a big bag of potato chips. This is what I like, I like to do anyway. Big, they do big like kilo bag in Europe. They do big kilo bag sizes of crisps. Put the beers in the fridge, your light crisp lagers, whack them in the fridge. You've got your big bag of potato chips. Get back to the hotel room about four or five o'clock. Your beers are cold, quick shower. Put your evening kind of shorts and a shirt on type of thing and just sit on the balcony. Sit on the balcony, cracking cans, eating crisps, either looking out over the pool or if you're lucky you've got a bit of a sea view watching the sun go down. Oh, I love it. Just whittling time away, enjoying a cold brew, just relaxing. You know, we all work hard, don't we? We all work hard. We all kind of like slog our guts out throughout the year and it's, it's nice to just kick back and relax sometimes and this is what this beer is all about it's the reason why i'm telling you these stories is because it's, it's not meant to be over complex it's not meant to be overly kind of complicated it's a very simple easy drinking refreshing lager now i doubt there's going to be much in the way of back of the can reading here. Uh, a lager of the highest quality, brewed only with the finest ingredients to give a satisfying, refreshing taste. Ingredients, water, malted barley, unmalted cereal, hops and yeast. So it is malted barley and unmalted cereal. So we are maybe, well, no, that would be, they would say corn. It's not, it's not corn. There's no corn in here, which is, I'm quite impressed with that. I'm quite impressed that they haven't used corn. I'm quite impressed that they haven't used rice. It's a quality, all cereal, all barley, all malt lager. Skull. I'm going to be honest with you. I've had this, uh, Neil Long sent me some of the Lord Chamry beers from Malta. He also sent me a beer from another brewery from Malta. And he sent me this. Um, and I just left this in the fridge for a while, to be honest. It, it's taken me a while to get round to it, if, I, if I'm perfectly honest with you. But I'm glad I have. I'm glad I have. Because if and when I go back to Malta, this is ideal. I don't want to get smashed these days. I don't want to, like... I, I, so many times on holiday you make a fool of yourself, don't you? You kind of like drink too much and you end up 
you know, making a blooming right show of yourself. And a 4% all malt lager these days, it, on holiday anyway, on holiday, suit me down to the ground. Right, rating. Pretty decent head retention. Been talking for eight or nine minutes. Good levels of carbonation on the beer. It's a nice, light, crisp all malt lager. Good aroma. Spicy, peppery, hoppy, malty. And a very refreshing taste. It almost makes me want to like dive over and open the potato chips right now and just go and sit in the front room. <laughs> I like it. It, it. It's simple, unoffensive, all malt lager. Seven out of ten. Seven out of ten from Real Ale Craft Beer. I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Thank you to Neil Long for sending. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.